And now onto our dinosaur of the day. Gigant Spinosaurus, which was a request from Marcos, so thanks. It was a stegosaur that lived in the late Jurassic in what is now Sichuan, China. And the holotype is of an adult and included a partial skeleton of a subadult with lower jaws, no skull, hind feet, and end of the tail as well as plates, spines, and scutes. They also found a skin impression from the left shoulder. Gigant Spinosaurus was medium size. It's estimated to be about 14 feet or 4.2 meters long and weighed 1,500 pounds or 700 kilograms. It had large shoulder spines, twice as long as the shoulder blades, and small plates on its back. And it had a really large head with 30 teeth in the lower jaw, as well as broad hips and robust forelimbs. Xing Lida and others described skin impressions in 2008. They were pentagonal or hexagonal in shape. The skeleton had a pathology in the left femur, probably from a bone tumor. This is based on CT scans. The type species is Gigant Spinosaurus citronensis. And the genus name means giant spined lizard. Yeah, it has nothing to do with Spinosaurus, which is pretty confusing since it's gigant Spinosaurus. Right, since it's a stegosaur. You really think it would be gigant stegosaurus, but it's gigant Spinosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> and the species name refers to Sichuan. So gigant Spinosaurus was found in 1985 by Ouyang Hui and described in 1986 by Gao Ruchi and others who thought it was... Tojiangosaurus. It was named in 1992 by Ouyang in an abstract for a lecture, and it was thought to be a nomum nudum until 2006. The abstract had enough of a description so that it was kind of official. Well, I guess it was official, and then thought to be nomum nudum. But then Tracy Ford wrote an article in 2006 that reconstructed Gigant Spinosaurus. There had been other images of it published before. And Ford said that earlier representations had the shoulder spines upside down, and his reconstruction had them going upwards. In 2005, Peng Guangzhou and others re-described Gigant Spinosaurus. And in 2006, Suzanne Maidman and Wei Guangbiao also found it to be a valid taxon. And you can see Gigant Spinosaurus at the Zigong Dinosaur Museum in China. That's apparently a really good one. We got to make it there. There's a lot of museums we got to go to still. Especially in China, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.